every Black Friday for the past 10 years, this American brewery has been releasing this beer. So let's see what the 10th anniversary one has to offer. Clock. And from Goose Island, we have a bottle of their iconic Bourbon County Stout 2020 coming in at 14.6 ABV. Now, this first sort of come around in 1992, believe it or not, the, the first um, Goose Island sort of County Stout, when, when people from Chicago, where Goose Island are from, were basically, um, they were starting to age some stouts in some bourbon barrels. Um, and they only really release it in small batches every year. Now what they've tended to do is release small batches on Black Friday. And, and this is the 10th year that they've actually released a batch on, uh, on Black Friday. So this is like the 10th anniversary of releasing a batch on Black Friday. Um, now, first things first I've noticed is I've got, actually got a, um, a 2019 bottle here. Now, 2019 was actually 15.2% 15, 15 ABV, whereas the 2020 bottle is 14.6% ABV. So, is there going to be a bit of a difference? I don't know. Um, also, I have had to jump through hoops to get this bottle. It's not cheap. This was 20 this bottle cost me so don't expect cheap when you go after your Bourbon County Stout and this year because of what's happened you've been people who have managed to get hold of a bottle of this have been very very lucky and I do believe this is going to be the exclusive premiere to the UK I'm going to be the first person in the UK to review the 2020 bottle so without further ado let's crack it open let's get it in a glass and let's see what it's like Oh, I can smell it from here. It smells absolutely gorgeous. There we go. Even with a vigorous pour, um, it's not got much of a head. But look, first impressions on this bottle is it's black as the Ace of Spades. It's got a half finger, off white, more caramel looking head. Let's get the aromas. Oh my God, it's, it's so deep and meaningful, this beer. First thing that really hits you is this tobacco smell. Now, if I, I used to smoke a lot of, as you know, a, a lot of good cigars. That's the first thing I get smells like a good cigar. You're getting the bourbon there as well. And then chocolate and caramel. Oh. If you could smell this beer. Oh, it's chocolatey, it's fudgy. There's the, 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 the sort of leather and tobacco there. Oh, vanilla, it really does smell like a fine Cuban cigar. They, they, they actually put this in a mix of bourbon barrels, so you've got um, you sort, of, sort of like places like Buffalo, Trace, uh, um, uh, Wild Turkey, Heaven Hill Distillery, that sort of thing. Oh, but on the, on the nose, it's it's just tobacco, chocolate, vanilla, fudge, caramel, leather. 
you know, you feel like singing a jam song, you know, the smell of br the smell of brown leather, it blended in with the weather, you know what I mean? It's just Oh, smells divine. Let's dive in and give it a try. Cheers. First things first, it doesn't even feel like it's 14.6%. It doesn't even feel like it's 14.6%. The alcohol in this is masked so well. Feels like you're drinking five and a half, five and a half percent beer, five and a half percent stout. You know what I mean? You gotta think about some of these stouts like, like Brewdog's Layer Cake. Brewdog's Layer Cake is laughable to this. Seriously, seriously laughable to this, you know. Brewdog's layer cake was like seven and a half percent and and burnt you as it went down. This double, double the ABV. Smooth, smooth as anything. This is, you know, unbelievable. It's probably a little bit more sharper than the 2019 from what I remember. But maybe because maybe they might have had to rush it a little bit this year um, because of, of what's happened with COVID. You know, we got to think of this is only fourteen point six, and that was fifteen point two um, on the ABV. So have they sort of rushed it a little bit? I don't know. Still a very very good, still a very very complex drink. chocolatey notes rich chocolate as well rich rich chocolatey notes a little bit of caramel there you're picking up the bourbon but for me it's it's the tobacco and the leather that, that, that you get sort of on the back end There's a smokiness starting to develop as it's starting to warm up now. I'm not getting any coffee in this. Which surprises me. There's a bit of dried fruit coming through. This is a beer that develops as you drink it anyway. Um, you know, it's a great beer. Absolutely. Fantastic. This is what this is what this time of year is all about, isn't it? Sitting back, relaxing, having a great beer. The bourbon's starting to come through a little bit as well. Now this is a sipping beer. It's gonna develop as you drink it. Um, I pulled this out, believe it or not, I pulled this out about 12 degrees. Um, I thought to myself, let's pull it out sort of about 12 degrees, so like, like a good quadruple really, and let's take it from there. And as this is going up, warming up through the gears, it's getting more flavours developed. I'm also swirling the glass a lot as you can see. That also helps to, to to warm the beer up. It's 
once it warms up, there's more, there's definitely more oak coming through. Especially at the back end, this sort of tobacco -y oak leveriness. But it don't feel boozy at all. It's I could quite quite easily polish off two or three bottles of this, no problem. No problem. It's so easy drinking. It's so rounded. It's it's just It's well worth waiting for and well worth the hassle trying to get hold of and it's well worth the money you know people might be watching this go 20 pound for a bottle of stout yes it's 500 mil 20 pound all that's a bit expensive but unfortunately the goose island are knocking out some of the best stout every year they just repeat this process now the funny thing about it is what makes me laugh about this goose island bourbon county is throughout the year, people slate all these little craft beer, beady beady people, what I call them, you know, these craft beer hipsters, will slag off AB and Bev. Oh, that beer's an AB and Bev. Oh, I wouldn't touch that beer, that's AB and Bev. AB and Bev, AB and Bev, they ruin the beer industry, right? But as soon as Bourbon County is released every Black Friday, they're queuing round the block to get themselves a bottle of this. Oh, you know. It's, you know, pot kettle black, isn't it? You know, slag off A, B and Bev all year round. But as soon as this is released, oh, I've got to get a bottle. Well, who owns Goose Island? A, B and Bev. That's my little rant on this because, you know, I get fed up with it. There's people like me, genuine people like me, who who, who don't, don't slag off A, B and Bev. You know, we drink a lot of A, B and Bev beers. And it, who struggle, go, have to jump through hoops to get hold of a bottle of this. And there's people who slag them off all, all, all year long. And as soon as this is released, they're putting butt pictures of it on Instagram, going, oh, I've got a bottle of the Goose Island, you know, um, Bourbon County stout this year. Well, you don't deserve it. If you slag off AB and Bev Spears all year, you don't deserve to even own a bottle of this come Black Friday. Leave it to the people who deserve it. That's what is my opinion. So look, if you can nab a bottle of this, try your damn hardest, you know. I only got a, a bottle of this because it's not what you know, it's who you know. Um, so I've been really, really, really lucky and privileged to get hold of a bottle. Um, it's fantastic. So look, jump through hoops, get yourself a bottle of this, see what you think. Leave me a comment below. Give us a big thumbs up if you like the review. Hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new one. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. <coughs> TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly.